Shamim says, her daughter has confusion in regards to wiping and washing the feet in wudu. Washing the feet is mentioned in the Quran, in chapter 5. So when we perform wudu, we wash the feet thoroughly with water. There's no problem in that. Now, Allah has given us a concession, a permission, a reduction of obligation. Especially you guys in the UK, in winter time, it is so cold. I've been there. I love the country. I love the people. When you wash your feet for Fajr, God, this is too much. It's cold. Especially if the heaters are not working on, on the spot. So Allah Azza wa Jal made it easier for a resident who's not a traveler that if he washes his feet with water and then puts on his socks, the next time he performs wudu, he doesn't have to take his socks off. So he performs normal wudu when it comes to washing the feet with wet hands. So the hands don't have water in it, they're just wet. He does this simultaneously on both feet, from the toes to the leg. That's it. Not on, not on the sides, not underneath. He doesn't have to cover the whole foot. Just this, and that's it. And he's allowed to do this for 24 hours. After that, he has to take his socks off, perform wudu, regular washing of the feet, and then if he wishes to wear the socks again, he has no problem. So I, I hope, Shamim, this uh, makes sense to you. So